Um, please hold all your feedback to the end, and there'll be time for silence. Or we're, we'll just be waiting on the Lord to pray. So, just be great. So, Sharon, please pray. <laughs> Yes, thank you, Father, for bringing Steve here. We thank you for the hunger in his heart, and we ask for whatever you would want to share with him that would touch and bless him directly from your heart. In Jesus' name. <laughs> Steve, I see that you're a you're a doctor. You have an ability to diagnose. You have an ability to listen to people's symptoms and conditions, or even the symptoms and conditions of a situation, and pull out a diagnosis and pull out a prescription and a few solutions, even experimental if they need to be, to be able to bring order and health and healing to a system. Along with that, I, I see you also have an ability to deal with um, selfishness of people. Um, that self-centeredness that can be like the leaven that eats up the bread, the cancer that eats up uh, the body. You have an ability to, with the character of Christ that has been formed in you and with the word that is so strong in you, to remove and attack that selfish and self-centered nature that is that traps people and that also is the thorns and the cares and the anxieties of the world and the ability to loose that off of them. <laughs> Steve, I believe that um, there have been some things that you've been building that may have come into some obstacles or some difficulty, and you're, you're still persisting with them. But this time, there's going to be success. There were a few battles in the um, Old Testament where the children of Israel, they, they didn't win the first few battles, but the Lord had determined they were going to win the war. Well, you've come into some difficulties, but you're going to win and you will be successful with what you're building. So the obstacles that you've had in the past, as you go at it again and attempt again, you're going to see success and you're going to see that it stands and it's good. And the Lord's blessing that perseverance and you're not going to let go. Right before Angela shared that word, I saw a picture of you driving a gold tent peg deeper into the ground, and I believe the gold is the second time you're driving that tent peg into the ground, but it's the glory of the Lord, and I also got the sense of um, forgetting the woman's name in scripture, but the woman who kind of in stealth opened up and led the enemy in, and she drove the tent peg into the head of, of the enemy, and I think that in this time, the Lord's given you a discernment of the land, and that gold tent peg means now it is time to secure the borders, and it's going to be secured with the glory and the promises of the Lord, and the silver and the gold belong to the Lord. I'm getting a pool, like a swimming pool. It does exactly look like a swimming pool, but anyway, it's almost like it's out in a 
in the forest and there's a beach ball. And I just feel like it's calling you to a time of rest away from uh, the hubbub and just to get away with him, to relax, rest, and be with him. And the water speaks of just resting in the and flowing in the Holy Spirit. With this uh, repeated attempt, I mean, uh, another round around going at this thing, this building, uh, so to speak, there's something more that's going to be imparted or a part of the building that would not have occurred if it had occurred the first time around. So these repeated attempts to get it done, even it's, even though you face some obstacles, some things to overcome, now when it's fulfilled, it's going to be bigger, better. There's something more, some value added that wouldn't have been there originally. And so it's just an encouragement also about that. And it's also going to uh, affect your relationships, close relationships around your family, relationships, close friends. There's uh, some sort of covering, uh, safety place, patio, where the success of this project is going to uh, not only be a blessing to you to see it uh, completed and successful, but it's also a blessing um, those closest to you. It's some sort of um, refuge or a safe place for them. Also, I can tell you something. So it's like, when they start talking, it's like... I just too that you have the ability, almost like Moses, to throw down his rod and pick it up and come, you know, throw it back down and pick up the snake. I feel that the Lord wants to encourage you that when he says to pick up the snake, it will not harm you, it will not hurt you. So Steve, um, if you're in agreement with these words, we wanted to bless you with them. Absolutely. Okay, so we'll be looking at you eye to eye and just speaking them over your spirit. All right. So we bless you, Steve, in the name of the Lord to continue to persevere, to see the projects, the buildings, the assignments the Lord given, has given you successfully completed. We bless you to see more than what you originally imagined when you started out. We bless you to um, have the uh, manifestation of the Lord to be a vessel of his kingdom so that you're able to break off and break through selfishness and other areas where people are, are have been blinded or needing to be set free from. We bless you to, to manifest God's love in such a way that the walls come down of the others that he sent you to minister to. We also bless you uh, for a time of peace and refreshing and to be a blessing to those, especially your immediate family and friends in Jesus' name. Amen.